Glycogenolysis. Glycogenolysis is the biochemical breakdown of glycogen to glucose, whereas glycogenesis is the opposite, the formation of glycogen from glucose. Glycogenolysis takes place in the cells of muscle and liver tissues in response to hormonal and neural signals. In particular, glycogenolysis plays an important role in the adrenaline-induced fight-or-flight response and the regulation of glucose levels in the blood. It takes place in the cytoplasm, both glycogen synthesis and breakdown occur here. The organs where it takes place are the liver and muscle. The rate-limiting enzyme is glycogen phosphorylase. Pyridoxal phosphate, which is an active form of vitamin B6, is a coenzyme for glycogen phosphorylase. Glycogen phosphorylase BB is a cardiac biomarker. Major pathway of glycogenolysis. Let us have a look on the various steps of glycogenolysis. The initial step is breaking of alpha 1 4 linkage. Glycogen phosphorylase is the enzyme that cleaves the alpha 1 4 linkage. This releases glucose 1 phosphate but not free glucose. Glycogen phosphorylase stops its action at least 4 glucose residues from a branch point to form limit dextrin. The next step is the removal of the branches. Alpha-1,4 and alpha-1,4 glucan transferase, which is the debranching enzyme with transferase activity, transfers trisaccharide residue to form a new alpha-1,4 linkage, leaving behind one glucose molecule at the branching point. Another enzyme called alpha-1,6-glucosidase, also known as amylo-1,6-glucosidase, is also called as debranching enzyme with glucosidase activity, which hydrolyzes the branching point with one glucose molecule and releases free glucose, but not glucose-1 phosphate. After the end of this step, there will be no branches in glycogen and it is completely a linear structure with only alpha-1,4 glycosidic linkages. Now the enzyme will be again glycogen phosphorylase which cleaves alpha-1,4 glycosidic linkages in the linear glycogen structure to release glucose-1 phosphate molecules. Next will be the conversion of glucose 1-phosphate to free glucose. Glucose 1-phosphate gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate by an enzyme called phosphoglucomutase. Glucose 6-phosphate finally forms glucose by glucose 6-phosphatase. Glucose 6-phosphatase is present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. A transporter is required for the transport of glucose 6-phosphate from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum to the cytoplasm. Defect in glucose 6-phosphate transporter leads to type 1b glycogen storage disorder. Minor pathways of glycogenolysis. The site where it takes place are lysosomes, the enzyme is acid maltase, glycogen is hydrolyzed to glucose, the importance is glucose hemostasis in neonates, deficiency of lysosomal acid maltase leads to type 2 glycogen storage disorder or Pompe's disease. Regulation of glycogen metabolism. Glycogen breakdown and synthesis are reciprocally regulated. We now return to the regulation of glycogen metabolism with a knowledge of both degradation and synthesis. Glycogen breakdown and synthesis are reciprocally regulated 
by a hormone-triggered cyclic AMP cascade acting through protein kinase A. In addition to phosphorylating and activating phosphorylase kinase, protein kinase A adds a phosphoryl group to glycogen synthase, which leads to a decrease in enzymatic activity. This important control mechanism prevents glycogen from being synthesized at the same time that it is being broken down. Let us see how the enzymatic activity is reversed so that glycogen breakdown halts and glycogen synthesis begins. Glycogen synthase active in dephosphorylated state. Insulin favors glycogenesis by dephosphorylating glycogen synthase. When blood glucose levels are high after a meal, insulin stimulates the synthesis of glucose by triggering a pathway that activates protein phosphatase 1. The consequent dephosphorylation of glycogen synthase, phosphorylase kinase, and phosphorylase promotes glycogen synthesis and blocks its degradation. Glycogen phosphorylase, which is a rate-limiting enzyme in glycogen breakdown, is active in the phosphor-related state. A point to be noted here is that you might have understood very clearly that glycogen synthesis is active in the dephosphor-related state, and glycogen phosphorylase is active in the phosphor-related state. Glucagon and epinephrine favor glycogenolysis by phosphorylating glycogen phosphorylase, whereas insulin favors glycogen synthesis by dephosphorylating glycogen synthase. Phosphorylase A is the active state, whereas phosphorylase B is the inactive state. The enzyme common to glycogenesis and glycogenolysis is phosphoglucomutase. Allosteric regulation of the glycogen metabolism is as follows. In the liver, the enzymes are glycogen synthase, glycogen phosphorylase. The allosteric activator of glycogen synthase is glucose 6-phosphate. There is no allosteric inhibitor. There is no allosteric activator for glycogen phosphorylase. The allosteric inhibitor is glucose, glucose 6-phosphate, and ATP. In the muscle, the enzyme glycogen synthase has the allosteric activator glucose 6-phosphate. It has no inhibitor. Glycogen phosphorylase is the enzyme which has calcium and AMP as allosteric activators. Allosteric inhibitors are glucose 6-phosphate and ATP.